Hello all, myself Dr. A. R. Deshmukh from Department of Engineering Sciences. In this video, we are going to learn the concept classification of fibers from engineering physics subject. So the fibers can be classified based on uh, two ways. Uh, first is based on the refractive index and another is based on number of modes of transmission through this optical fibers. So based on refractive index the of the core medium, particularly the optical fibers are classified into two categories. First is step index fibers and another is graded index fibers. So as you can see here the refractive index if the refractive index changing or varying stepwise then these fibers are called as a step index fiber and if the refractive index is changing gradually then we can say these are the graded index fiber. So it is depending on the refractive index of core how it is varying. Uh, from core to uh, cladding uh, interface. Now there is another way that based on the number of mode of transmission through this core or optical fiber, uh, these fibers are classified into two categories. One is single mode optical fiber and another is multi-mode optical fiber. In single mode optical fiber, there is only one mode can pass or uh, transmit through this optical fiber. The name itself uh, define multiple uh, optical fiber in that fiber the, there are many modes can be travel or transmit through this fiber. So let us understand the concept step index fiber. In the step index fiber the refractive index of the core medium is uniform. So for example if this inner circle is the core and this outer circle is the um, cladding so that means this part will be the your cladding part and inside part will be the core part. Okay, so the refractive index of the core medium, the refractive index of the core medium is uniform and undergoes abrupt change, undergoes abrupt change at the interface of core and cladding and therefore there is a sudden change in the refractive index of the core when it uh, it is at the interface of core and cladding okay but in case of graded index fiber the refractive index of the core is not a constant or the uniform but it is varying in the parabolic manner such that the mag refract the maximum refractive index is present at the center of the core so as you can see this is a parabolic manner and the refractive index of the core is maximum at the center and it is goes on decreasing when it is when we travel from the center to interface between the core and cladding okay so and this is why here what you are getting is a parabolic manner so the refractive index at the center is maximum and it is it goes on decreasing and meet at uh, when you go to towards the interface between core and cladding the refractive index goes on decreasing and it forms the parabolic shape and this is this is the refractive index of the cladding which is uniform throughout the cladding so the diameter of the core is about 50 micrometer for the graded index fiber for this fiber the attenuation that is the loss of energy is very less in this fiber the numerical aperture is less in graded index fiber and this fiber is called also called as a reflective type fibers. Now there is another type on the basis of number of mode can travel through this fiber. The fibers are divided into the two part one is single mode fiber and another is multi mode fiber. So in single mode optical fibers only one mode of propagation is possible. Since only one mode of uh, propagation is possible so the core diameter is very small it is about 5 to 10 micrometer. This uh, fiber have a small core diameter and the difference between the refractive indices of core and cladding is very small. Okay, so the single mode optical fibers are 
costly because the fabrication is uh, difficult for this fiber now in con contrast to this the multimode fibers in multimode fi ma multimode fiber many number of modes of propagation are possible uh, since the many number of modes of propagation are possible the core diameter is of course uh, higher as compared with the single mode optical fiber and which is around 50 to 150 micro micrometer uh, these cores have the large core diameter and the difference between the refractive indices of core and cladding is also large as compared to the single mode fiber the process of launching of light into the multi mode fiber is very easy and therefore the fabrication is very easy and the this and therefore these fibers are cheaper as compared to the single mode optical fiber so if you compare uh, the single mode and op uh, multi mode optical fiber this is the comparison uh, single mode fiber supports only one mode but multi mode fiber supports um, large number of modes of propagation it is very uh, small core diameter Uh, it, uh, single mode optical fiber has a very small core diameter, but uh, multi mode uh, optical fiber has a large core diameter. Transmission losses are very less; that is, the uh, att attenuation is less. Uh, but in case of multi mode fiber, uh, attenuation is more. Uh, this single mode optical fiber can be used for a long distance, uh, and multi mode optical fibers are. Used for the short distance of communication. Okay, this is also uh, the difference in or the comparison between step index fiber and the graded index fiber. The refractive index is uniform uh, for the core and suddenly changes or abruptly changes at the cladding for the step index fiber. However, in graded index fiber, the refractive index of the core is not uniform, but it is varying in the uh, parabolic manner. the refractive index is uh, for the graded index fiber is maximum at the center and it goes on decreasing when you are traveling or uh, goes towards the interface between the core and cladding okay for the single uh, step index fiber it can be single mode or multi board multi mode fiber but for graded index it is only a multi mode fiber for step index fiber the attenuation is higher but for the graded index fiber attenuation is lower and uh, that's all this this is the classification of optical fiber thank you